Hello guys, welcome to Atrocious Gameplay. Jake here with you on this fine morning. Now, those of you who may be curious if you've never been to my channel before, or if you're new, because I do have two subscribers, uh, why am I doing a FNAF theory when I don't have anything FNAF related, or even the same genre, because all I've done is sports so far? Well, let me tell you, I've been a fan of FNAF since Mark was doing the first FNAF game back in 2014, and since the release of the books, FNAF World, all of the fan games, and even the Reddit community, my love for FNAF has just grown. Not to mention that I've spent countless hours talking with my brother about FNAF theories. Thank God that he listens to me blab all the freaking time about FNAF. Now, today is the day that I can say that I am 100% sure that I know that I've figured out something about FNAF without the help of a single person in the entire world. The reason that you click this video, and I'm telling you, it's not clickbait. I can confirm the first of the two mystery characters coming in FNAF's Ultimate Custom Night that Scott's been teasing on his website. If you don't know what I'm talking about, if you've been living under a rock in terms of FNAF, this is part of the picture that was on his website two mystery boxes with the phrase things get worse now this teases a duo coming out two more characters and obviously two more characters to the already 50 characters means that yes things are gonna suck so five days ago from the release of this video he posted a new picture on his website here it is i'll link his website in the description so then you can see for yourself the left box is filled with a character. Now we can't 100% sure who that character is, but we can tell that there is some sort of outline and it's not just eyes and teeth. We can tell by this differentiating thing of this line, blackness, and whatever the heck this is. So, because this picture is on a website, it was on Google Images. Thank you, Scott, for having that on Google Images. You can go download it for yourself. Just type in Scott Games, things get worse. It should come up. Actually, it should because it's right here. When it loads, it's going to load. There it is. Okay, so right there, we can see all you got to do is type in Scott Games, things get worse, and it's this first picture. It'll have to load because it has to update because it's from a website. But I went to a website because if there's anything that I know about FNAF, I know I got to mess with this picture to figure out what this is. And Lunapic is what I went with. It's not an advertisement. I just went to Lunapic because it's the first one. But it's a website that lets me mess with the brightness. So I turn the brightness up to a good level. And right here, we can see the outline of this character. I'll zoom in in case you want to see it a little bit. If you want to see it a little bit closer now as I'm in night class taking notes for my law class that's super insanely hard I'm also trying to think of FNAF and so in my head I'm like what character does this look like that's not already on the character list I'm thinking I'm thinking but then I'm like hey why don't I go to the Steam website because Scott the other day released the character guide on June 15th thank you Scott and there I'm reading and trying to take notes at the same time and I'm like, oh god, there's so many words, like I'm never going to read this in time. So that's OBS, that's not what I'm looking for. So I got a Word document and I wrote out all the characters that are on the character list. Boom, boom. And so then I started thinking, what characters are dark and sinister and are in FNAF? And the first thing that I thought of was FNAF 4, the one with the nightmare so I'm like okay let's let's see what the nightmare characters are and that's not how you spell nightmare but that's how you spell nightmare and we get four characters five if you just type in night nightmare Fredbird nightmare nightmare Annette, nightmare balloon boy and nightmare Freddy now I'm looking at this picture and none of those look like this character so then I thought even deeper I was like, okay, what about FNAF 3? The Phantom characters were pretty sinister looking and kind of dark. I mean, it could just be it could just be a dark image. 
And so then I see Phantom Freddy, Phantom Mangle, Phantom Balloon Boy. And then I'm thinking, because I'm seeing all these chicas, oh, I'm like, oh, Phantom Chica. What if this Phantom Chica? And then I'm like, oh, wait, this guy has ears. And then I'm like, ears, ears, Phantom Bonnie. And then I'm, I'm thinking and I'm looking at websites, the FNAF wiki page and all these things. And I, just like I thought, there's no Phantom Bonnie that's ever been discussed in any of the games. Phantom Bonnie is non-existent until I just made it up. So then I'm thinking even more. I gotta dig really deep. What characters are dark, sinister, and are even before FNAF 3? And then it hit me. You may have missed it or not even thought of it yet because in FNAF 3, when they were there, the duo was only in the mini games. But you may not even thought it was in FNAF 2 because they came up by chance. My playthrough, when I first played FNAF 2, I never saw these characters, but they were there. They showed up for other people, and guess who they are? So I first thought Shadow. Oh my gosh, there's no shadows on this list. So then, I think, okay, I need to find a picture of the Shadow characters. Hold on, I'm going to adjust this real quick. So I go to Google. And I type in Shadow Bonnie. And would you look at that? There is a picture of Shadow Bonnie that looks almost completely identical. Completely identical. <laughs> so with this information, we know that one of the characters is Shadow Bonnie. Now, it begs the question of the other character. Who is it? The only person that I can think of, because if you've got dumb, you've got to have dumber. Shadow Freddy. Now, just a disclaimer, I do not think Shadow Freddy and Shadow Bonnie are stupid, but Shadow Bonnie came in to kill you by chance, and that really takes me off when I found out about that in FNAF 2. But I still love the characters, because it's FNAF and their Shadow, and they're freaking cool looking. But, let's look at it this way. Things get worse. Not only are we adding two characters, but we're adding two characters that happen, that one on the left, Shadow Bonnie, happened completely by chance. So you were always on your toes, you never knew it when it was coming. And then Shadow Freddy, who in FNAF 2, didn't have a mechanic. There, he didn't do anything except show up and disappear. So he's obviously going to have something to do with this game. We're going to have to fight him off with the other 51 freaking characters. But we don't even know what it is yet. We don't have a remote lead. We don't even have an idea. So things get worse. With this information, I think that I can confirm that the last two characters of FNAF's Ultimate Custom Night Shadow Bonnie and Shadow Freddy. Now, if you disagree with me for any reason, if you are not sure that that's Shadow Bonnie, or if you think that it's somebody else, please let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear your theories and I would love to debate with you. But also, I know many of you might be mad that it's not the Spring Freddy or Spring Bonnie from Fazbear's Family Diner. And truthfully, I kind of wanted those characters too. I wanted the I wanted to know what they looked like. I wanted to know how they acted. I wanted to possibly know some lore bits even though Scott Coffin said that FNAF Ultimate Custom Night isn't really going to be canon. But these characters, I don't know anything about either. I don't really know Shadow Freddy. I don't really know Shadow Bonnie. I would love to find out more about these characters. So I am not at all mad about this selection. I am excited for it. Now, also, please leave a like down if you like this selection. But don't worry. That's just a theory. Ugh. No, actually, I'm 
not at all employed by game theory, so I probably shouldn't make that line. But in all seriousness, again, please comment down below if you've got other theories. Also, I have a Twitch channel that is connected to this YouTube account. So I plan on playing Ultimate Custom Night regardless. I plan on making a video on it before this theory even existed in my mind. So if you would like to see me do that, I'll link the Twitch stream. Uh, down in the description below so you can follow the channel and you can get notified when I go live playing this game and you can see me fail miserably because I didn't get the demo from Scott a little salty about that but I totally understand uh, but other social media posts in case he releases it and then I can talk about it with you if it's super crazy if it's I don't even know wolf from the twisted ones uh, the wolf animatronic or whatever but thank you again for watching this video Thank you for watching Atrocious Gameplay. I look forward to talking to you next time in our next video.